Aku nak makan nasi dengan kuah singgang Lauk ikan ayu dok pung ikan selayang Alright guys, we are at Terapuri You guys know this place from our previous video Look at the building we've been staying at for the past three nights How beautiful is this place? They have a cooking class here And today they said I'm gonna make lunch <laughs> So Here's our ingredients. We're gonna make a dish called ikan singgang. It's a specialty in Terengganu. So special that they even have a song about it. Aku nak makan nasi dengan kuah singgang Lauk ikan ngaya dok pung ikan selayang Tumbuk sambal belacang makan dengan ulang raja Ngetak bibir bibir kalau budu ada Kepih kacang botol suat sekelinga ikan Makan selu-selu tak bawa lekat tulang Kalau ada cuti pakat balik kapong lawe Balik mana lagi negit kanu Yang tercinta Kanu Yang tercinta <laughs> Alright, so They had some instructions for me On how to cook this dish but I have to figure it out myself. But it looks pretty easy, so I think I can do it pretty good. I think you can handle it. Mm. They said stuff like, don't make it too salty, don't make it too sour. Mm -hmm. But they didn't give you any measurements of ingredients. Yes, exactly. So you'll be up up to your own... I think uh, it'll be good. I'll put all the ingredients, obviously. Look at that. You'll put the so, whole thing of salt? No. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me show you guys what we have. Tuna fish. Mm. Some shallots, mm. turmeric, galangal, and garlic, some tamarind or assam, some, uh, what's this called again? This Lady veggies. Finger. Ladies' fingers, and some green pepper, and salt, and water. It looks easy, right? There is no oil whatsoever, so it looks like a pretty healthy dish. And later on, we will pick up some ulam. And uh, you're supposed to eat this dish with some ulam, which is fresh, veggies, and budu. Wow. So. And budu. Ugh. I'll, I'll <laughs> skip the budu part. Well, let's see. Okay. Okay, Vana. Let's get started? Let's fire up the should, grill. Uh, before we fire up the gr grill, I think we should cut this up. Start chopping. Start Good work, chopping. Ivana. I'm already hungry. Good work, Ivana. Look at this. It just smells so good. So the like galangal and the turmeric, which made my skin yellow on my hands. Ooh, I hope I can get this off. And the shallot garlic. Ooh. What's this, Ivana? I've never seen this in Smell my life. Smell it, Steve. I've never seen this in my Smells life. Smells interesting. Honestly? It looks like peach. Honestly, it smells like B.O. It smells like sweaty socks. It looks like peach, dried peach or dried prune. Uh, what's the name of it, do you know? It's Assam something. I can't remember. Oh, so this will provide the sour flavor. Mm -hmm, sour. Because sour. Uh, it does not smell very yummy. Yeah. To be honest. I like it. Because you with your yellow hand. <laughs> okay, the lady said pour water first and then put all the ingredients. And the glangal, just put half. So, let's see. Where's the water? I what? am uh, breaking the law here. You're breaking the rules. Just, you know, make it a little bit smoky, smoky taste. Oh, you're going to go ingredients with no water to make it more smoky? Oh, wow, Master Chef Ivana. Master yes. Chef breaks the rules. So wow. Wow. Now, the other question, Ivana. How will you tell when it's ready for the meat to go in? Uh, once the broth is kind of tasty. Pro, so pro let's technique. put in one. You're not going to cut that? No. One and a little bit of salt. Wow. This is real skill. Honestly, I say this every cooking video, but if this was up to me, I would have no idea what to do. Okay, and let it boil. Let it boil. Okay, play the waiting game. Mrs. Ooh. Yellow Fingers. You look like you were just married with My your uh, uh, henna you tattoo on the fingers. Smell it. Oh, it. it smells very good. Smell, guys. Oh. Mm. It smells good, actually. Yeah. Cool. 
All right. Time. <laughs> Time to hurry up and wait. Maybe you guys can enjoy some more of the song as we wait. Okay, I think it's ready for us to put these babies, the tuna fish. So we're going to put them in. Oh, by the way, I heard the head of the fish is the best part of fish and it's the most expensive part. I'm not sure about that. And I heard that you should also eat the eyeball. Ooh. Maybe Steve can test it later to see if it's really the best part of the fish. I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. Ivana, you did all the work. It's only fair for me to have my first fish eye. Oof. First fish eye for Steve. And the cheek, I heard the, um, the meat of the cheek is also supposed to be very soft. So let's see. Mm. <laughs> Probably the most manageable fish. For a non-fish lover, tuna is safe. Yeah. In Canada, we don't really eat fresh tuna, right? No. We eat like canned tuna. Well, well I think on the east and west coast, they have fresh tuna because there's oh. the ocean. In Toronto, we're so far from the ocean, it's all in a can. But I think the most common fish in Canada is salmon. Yes. Yeah. Freshwater salmon from a lake. Freshwater salmon. Because the land of the most lakes in the world, Canada. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, All right, so just oh, wait. Oh, and in the it. meantime, Ivana has already prepared the lady fingers and uh, non-spicy pepper. peppers. Yeah. Okay. So we just wait until the fish is maybe halfway cooked and then we'll add these. So while we wait for the fish to boil, we'll pick up some ulam. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go look for some ulam. And the owner of Terapuri. Alex, he says, anything you see, you can grab. So we've got free reign to look for anything yummy. Any ideas, Ivana, what we might find? Like lemongrass or something? Or do we even want lemongrass? Mm, no lemongrass. They have it here. They have fresh veggies, fresh ulam all over the property. Uh, but we don't need lemongrass for today. Okay, we don't want uh, lemongrass. I'll show you here. You've probably noticed a couple ulams as we've been staying here for the past three days. Is this right? Right, yes. Okay. They you have... seem like you're on a mission here. You've got a strategy. Right here, what's this? First one. First this is edible. One. Yeah. Wow. It looks very cute. Let's see. Uh, okay. So in terms of ulam, this means we're going to um, eat it as like lettuce. Eat it as like a crunchy That's veggie right. with the meal. Got this it. This is the Malaysian salad. The Malaysian salad. How will I plug this? Let's see. Do you know the name of this one, Ivana? Pagaga. Say again? Pagaga. Pagaga. Yeah. There you have it. Okay. Uh, and you're just going to pull it out. Yeah. I'm not a very good picker there. <laughs> I'm supposed to okay. pull out the whole roots, but I didn't get to. This oh. is not good. So we eat the leaf, but we also eat the stem. Is this the idea? Yeah. Ooh, it's so pretty though, right? Mm. There you have it, guys. This is our harvest. We have a few more ulam to pick, so let's, let's go. go. No kidding. This is, this is called Bayam Brazil. In a, in a potted plant? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty smart. So, uh, Bayam, you, said, you, said, you said Brazil, basil. Bayam Brazil, so oh. Brazilian spinach. Brazilian spinach? Yeah. Wow. Unique name. Look at that. Look at that. Asia meets America. Ooh. Brazilian spinach in the uh, fish dish. There you have it. Looks really fresh, actually. Yeah, this one looks really, really nice. See that? For me, I'm walking past this every day. I'm thinking decoration. Yvonne is thinking dinner. Oh, yeah. Smart girl. I'm not sure why it's called Bayam Brazil. If it's, is it from Brazil? Oh, not that's sure. what I was assuming. Maybe not. Does it taste uh, Brazilian? Tastes like a little bit bitter. 
Mm. Let me taste this one. <laughs> now I'm just tasting it. Mmm. Ooh. This one is really bitter. <laughs> there you have it. By the way, this is uh, the bilimbing, the really, really sour one. Uh, we're not going to use it to cook with today, but this is what me, me, we made the black sambal with. Yes, yeah, black sambal Mystery. in Tamanagara. Yeah. Baling bing. Baling bing. Baling really bing. sour, but right, it's right. good. But not for this recipe. No. But I mean, you can still chew on it. <laughs> Super sour. Look at the garden. They got garango and ginger here. The roots. Wow. Mm. What's One this? more thing. Ulam Raja. This is actually naturally occurring. This wasn't Ulam even planted. Raja. I have no idea. But Ulam Raja. Ulam. The king of Ulam. Ulam Raja. Yeah. Interesting. There you have it. Look at our pretty little basket. Whoa, it's full filling up, Ivana. Well, let me enough. try this one. I'm is this called sure Raja? Yeah. Which to me means king, like you said. So king of uh, king of Ulam. My favorite one. Raja. Raja. There you mm. have it. Kind of got like a sutri, uh, citrus flavor. Mmm. Mmm. It's pretty fresh. Sounds good. Let's uh, get... <sighs> the search what, continues. Let's see what else we can find. So right now we're actually snuck back around behind the kitchen. So this is the kitchen's uh, secret garden, as it were. Butterfly pea flower. For, don't tell me, nasi karabu. Yay. Boom. Oh, that's just for looks, no? Just for just for beauty effect? Yeah. Oh, come on. You could nice also eat basket. it, though. Nice looking basket right there. Good work, okay. Chef Ivana. Maybe we'll make a little spice up oh, our dish. it's a little chili. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Okay, so I think our fish is probably cooked. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. Check. Let's check it out. Wow. This is really a testament to uh, Tara Puri's design. They got the whole place filled with vegetables. I would never guess that. <laughs> you want to hold this? It's okay. Are you thirsty, Mona? No, I'm okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> the service is top notch here. Top notch. They care for you. So they much. really take care of you here. Okay, Ivana, first things first. Let's give a smell test. Smell mm. that, smell that broth. What does it smell like? Bad thing. Ooh, we it smells good. It smells like fish and uh, a little bit sour smell. Amazing. Put in the pepper and the lady's finger. I think this is starting to take shape, Ivana. I think this is almost finished. Yeah, it's almost oh, ready. Oh, there's a fish eyeball for you. Ooh. Look at this. You know smells what? good. What do you smell mostly, Ivana? I smell the sour, uh, the sour, um, what was that thing called? Not tamarind. This. I think yeah, we'll one. put one more anyway. Really? Hold on, hold on. Taste it, taste Let it, Let Do the taste test. Let me taste it. It's good. Let me put one more. Need a little bit more. I'll put so it. you put a third one of the... Uh... Second one. Second one. Of what are the they called Assam. again? Assam. Assam. Something. Glugo. Assam Glugo. And a little bit more salt. Yeah, because this is where you gotta I like be. salt. This is where you gotta be a pro. You gotta taste it and see what it needs. This is a real skill in cooking. Tell you what, Ivana, it smells good. It looks good. I mean, look at the look at the scene here. Look at the setting. Beautiful. Brass brass cookware in front of a two hundred year old house on yeah. a beautiful day. A beautiful. Cooking day. a traditional Terengganu recipe. Ikan what could be better than singang. that? Singang. Ikan singang. So I think we need maybe about five minutes until it's ready. No pressure. Taste this. Ooh, it's hot. Let me just transfer the spoon. Ah, the spoon is hot too. Have you ever cooked with a brass spoon? No. That's first special. First time in my life. Come on, that's special. <sighs> Very nice. Mm. This is good. Mm. What's it taste like? Want to taste? Uh, okay, ready. Yeah. Look at the fish eye just looking at me. 
Woof. This is a little fishy. Little fishy. But it's very fresh. Okay, let's try. Need more salt? Uh, it's fishy. But it's very good. The, um... The Assam, the sour flavor, gives it a bite that I really like. You know I like sour flavors. One of my favorite Malaysian foods, Assam Padas. It's spicy too. Wow. It's spicy too. Mm. Sour and spicy is really nice. Very good. Very healthy. Very healthy. Mm, so good. Standing near this uh, good smell, Maybe making me hungry. Salt. salt it up, baby. Don't be shy. Mm. It's done. It's done. Wow. Okay, I think we should serve it to everybody, especially the locals here who can see if we did a good job. Yeah. Mm, awesome, let's eat. Check out this feast, guys. And the Travel Grammars actually made a traditional Terengganu chicken dish. So make sure to check out their channel after this. I guess it's a bit of a cook-off. We've got some locals here to try Ivana's fish dish, try their chicken dish, and see who did a better job. Let's eat. All right, first official taste tester, okay. Maslina. Local Terengganu, Terengganu woman. Were you born in Terengganu? Uh, no, I was born in Kuantan, but okay. I live in Terengganu for like 40 years. 40 years? Because my father from here. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> and you've had this dish many times? Yes, Okay. We, so this is a good taste test. Since kid, you know? Since you were a kid. Yeah. Okay, great. Oh my gosh, the pressure is on, Ivana. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> It tastes the same as usual. Yes, um, but I can say something. Mm. Uh, maybe it should be uh, less salt. Less salt. Yeah, less it's salt. Too salty. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's not. It's not salty at all. Oh, it needs a little more salt. more salt. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So, but this depends actually. Some people right. they prefer like this, mm -hmm. but me like I'm a very salty ah, person. Okay. <laughs> more salt. Yeah, but, okay. but it's good. It's perfect. Thank you. Good job. Honestly. Wow. <laughs> good job, Ivana. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a good review. Yeah. We'll take that. Hello, Thanks, Maslina. And Hello. second Hello. official <laughs> taste tester, <laughs> oh, Mr. Alex. Okay, let me test. No, it's fine. There's a local from Terengganu. Local yeah. from Terengganu. Okay, the tuna. And I have a bit of budu here. And I have Ulam Raja. Ulam Raja. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mix, mix. Yeah, mix. Dun, 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 dun. No pressure. Lots of pressure. You can be honest. <laughs> but not too honest. No. <laughs> Thinking, processing. I'm nervous. <laughs> Take a deep breath, Ivana. This is like a TV show, like MasterChef. <laughs> it's five star, Ivana. <laughs> 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 yeah. Five stars. Really? Uh, very rich yeah. with uh, turmeric, yeah. the galangas, all. Wow. So, yeah. It's, Thank you. It's good. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Yes. <laughs> two good, good job. reviews. Yeah. <laughs> two for two, Ivana. Good job. I knew you could do it. Serious? Cool. You know what? Yeah. This is pretty good, actually. Yeah. The taste. Because this is the first time, right? Yeah. yeah. You cook. Uh, you can sing down? Yeah. It's good. It's very good. Oh, thank you. Wow. Thank good you. job, Ivana. Okay guys, check out this beautiful plate. We've got Ivana's fish on one side and Christiana's chicken on the other side. Now, for most of the chicken stuff, you'll have to go to the Travel Gamers channel. It'll be in the description. It'll be in the comments. It'll be at the end of the video. Make sure you go to Travel Gamers channel and watch this video. But first things first, we have to uh, eat the chicken head, sorry, fish head, for the first time of my life. Uh, first bite, eyeball, Ivana, is that crazy? Oh, eyeball. I don't know if... Maybe not first bite. I don't know if that's <laughs> how you eat. I think so. That's the eyeball. Let's do you some... normally eat the eyeball? Not me. Not you. I, I don't know how to eat actually the fish head. Oh. That's oh. <laughs> okay. So the beginner is on expert mode here. <laughs> okay, I can okay. find some meat in here. Be creative. Uh, how about the cheek? Okay, I'm gonna go for it. No budu, guys. Sorry, but I will go with soup, oh, rice, and a little bit of ladyfinger. That's what I'll go with. Ladyfinger, dark meat, soup, and rice. Uh, ikan singang. It smells really fishy. It might be a bad review, not because of the cook or the chef, but because of the fishiness. Let's try.
I think Alex was right. Five stars, Ivana. <laughs> it's really good. It is quite fishy, and to be honest, like a couple months ago, I probably could not enjoy this because I'm still working up my fish tolerance, but uh, it's quite good, Ivana. Right. What really saves it for me is the sour flavor. Okay. If it was just fish, the fish would be overpowering, but the strong sour flavor, um, a little bit spicy, nice. very good. So very you like good. the sourness. Mm. Um, can you tell the difference between the head, the meat of the head, and the body? No. Same I'm same. still I'm still a beginner of a fish eater. Okay. Cool, man. There you have it, guys. I, I would say, Ivana, you nailed it. Thanks. Which, what else do we expect, really? You're the best. All right, Christiana's first try. Da, da, da. Are you nervous? Yeah. Are you Maybe anxious? You Maybe you should be nervous. I am nervous. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I trust Ivana's uh, cooking skills. Are you skills. a fan of fish or not? Um, I like fish. Sometimes. Sometimes. I, I'm, I'm a weird person. Okay. This one is quite fishy, so it might be the, uh, the fish flavor that throws you off. This is going to be... Looks like a good looking spoon though. Come on, look mm. at that. There's a bit of balachan, the fish, ulam and rice. Let's do Different this. Different colors. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Big Whoa, <mouthful>. mega bite. Mmm. <laughs> it's okay? Approved. Like even it says, Dumb stuff. <laughs> wow, there you have it. And next up we have Joao. Okay, I'm going for big piece. I love big fish. Piece. And did you put budu on there? Yeah, a bit of budu. That's a bit of spice. Why not? Whoa, spice things up. Spice things up. Just take. That's two and you bowl. are, I would say, a fish lover. Yeah, I love fish. So I think this is a slam dunk, you wanted, but we'll check it out. Straight away, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Me and you, we should go to fishing, bring the fish home, and let them oh, cook the fish. it's a good idea. It's a good yeah. idea. What do you say, Vanna? Um, You guys can also cook the fish. <laughs> <laughs> we get the hard part. We need to fish them. We need to... Yeah, fishing to takes all day. You yeah. can cook it in an hour. Well, on that <laughs> note, I'm a better fisherman than you guys are anyway. Oh, yeah. so. oh it's a good point. It's a good point. Well, there you have it, guys. Good food and good times. Happy days. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. So you mix the fish with the budu and rice and some ulam. Budu, rice, ulam, and fish. I think you might be surprised by the um, spiciness of it, babe. Hmm. I like it. Good, right? Mm -hmm, I did good. Mm -hmm. You did good, Ivana. Wow. What do you notice most? The sour? The spicy mm. a little bit? Mm. The veggies are cooked, I would say, mm -hmm. perfect amount. Not overcooked. Right. Sourness and the spiciness. Really good. Sourness and spiciness. Mm -hmm. It was my first time cooking it, but it wasn't too hard. It was kind of easy to cook it. Usually Malaysian food would require us to like pound all the spices like the galangal mm. and the chilies But this one you just cut so right. I can pretty much do this in Canada cook it in Canada. So good point mm -hmm. Can you find uh, galangal in Canada? Yeah, really? Yeah, you would sell it in super, uh, you would find it in supermarket. Oh, I never saw it in easily. You never go grocery shopping <laughs> True fact. <laughs> when you go grocery shopping you only look for cereal or peanut butter or chips. Yeah <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it, guys. So good reviews across the board. Special thanks to Terrapuri for hooking us up and setting up this great day for us. Lots more Terranganu good stuff coming, guys. Stay tuned for more. Later.